Welcome to Atticon Plays Railroad Corporation. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Series 2, Episode 2, also known as Mission 2, called Real Deals of our playthrough of Railroad Corporation. This is the one where we're set in Knoxville. We have to ultimately deliver clothes to Atlanta to supply to uh, fulfill a corporate contract. That unfortunately is one of those deals where we don't get paid for that. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do here, and again, we're, we're going to play this uh, hamstringing ourselves a bit. We're not going to have any passenger or mail lines. And we, we're going to have our research goals are going to be modest in this one because we've got the John Bull fully uh, researched from the first mission. So our goal here is to hit that date. 1149 days we're going to hit the work faster uh, target date for getting all our jobs done and what we have to do is buy a textile factory and we know that eventually we have to run uh, clothing all the way up here to Atlanta or all the way down here whichever way it is to Atlanta so we start in Knoxville and um, and if we were doing passenger mail, we'd run a line directly to the big city that we have, Nashville, and we would start running full trains of passengers and eventually add mail as the tra as our cities grew, but we don't have that luxury. So what we're, our strategy we're going to take is we've got this, um, in Cookville, there's a nice wheat field. So we are going to buy the wheat field while it's cheap, and we're going to, let's just take a quick look to see if there's any... We can get 20% off rails if we set up our HR department right now. So let's do that and build some cheap... Uh, we're going to um, contract our buddy George Wheeler. I'm not thinking of it as hiring. There we go. We've met one of our goals. Now they want us to hire three total, so that's one. And we're going to run a line with, a, with our nice little 30% discount. And it's 20%. Let me just show you the character before we go any further. Our character gets... Well, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's right. Our, um, our character, I've got him built up so far that he gets 14% off research. Uh, remember, we don't have any passenger mail, so I'm taking a new tactic on the um, building of the character. Our uh, corporation gets 10% off for building rail. So now if we start building a rail, like so... We're getting a total of 30% because of the employee we just hired off. So we're getting so our rail is going to be pretty cheap. We need to get those earth costs down, but we'll uh, we'll drag a line out here like so, and run it into uh, Cookville and point it down toward Chattanooga. It's in four segments. I think that's a good thing. That's something I'm learning. If you put the segments, I think it will allow the trains to run behind each other better. So I think that's a good thing to actually block it out like that. I don't know that for a fact. We'll see. We'll see. Perhaps. All right. And then we want to go ahead. You know, what have we got? 38, we've got 38,000 left. But we've got that guy hired to help us build some rail. So let's take, take advantage of him and go in one, two, Let's do four segments again. It's only 15 grand to build that track. We still got 22 left, which is almost enough for a train. And what we're going to do next is say, George, you were wonderful. Thanks for your help on building that line. All right, now we're going to grab a John Bull. We'll have to take us. We'll go in the hole a little bit. Pick up five wheat and go down here and sell it to the city. Now, we're not going to sell it to the farm intentionally, and I'll explain that later. So we're going to pick up Cookville again, pick up five more wheat, and sell that to the city of uh, Knoxville. And go. All right, so our plan now is to make a little bit of money off of our wheat field. So we're going to make some modest uh, money uh, 
hauling wheat into the city of Chattanooga and the city of Knoxville. We're doing both of them because, well, they both need it, one, and two, if we split it between them, we won't run the risk of overloading one and getting it up to 20 where we get our train stalled. So we should be able to keep making money this way. So we're negative right now and we're getting we're getting tapped with interest. Look at that. Daily interest is just kind of draining our account, but not too badly. And now when we get down here, they gotta fix that. Sometimes you notice the cities disappear. I have to scroll in or out to make the cities come back. So now we're back making money. So the goal here, as far as our economy goes, our early plan is to buy this farm. So I uh, said I'd come back to that. The reason we are not delivering the wheat directly to the farm is we don't want to run its price up. We want it to just sit there and be a worthless farm because it's not getting any transportation support. And Chattanooga is not consuming uh, meat. Well, it doesn't matter. We wouldn't be bringing in any wheat. So by starving it out, we're going to keep its price down. So our next goal is actually to buy it. And what we're going to do though, to speed things up, we're going to buy another train. In fact, let's do it like this. Let's copy this train. Give us another one. Only this, only this new train is only going to do the Cookville to Knoxville leg. And our original train is only going to do the Cookville to Chattanooga. So we should be able to make money off of our uh, wheat field twice as fast. And we're going to set up, we could put the most, we could put repairs right there but we're not gonna have that many trains running through that all the time. So this one is gonna go down here and get its repairs. And we're gonna put a, a service station or a repair shop in uh, Knoxville. And this one, after it leaves Knoxville, will turn uh, repairs on for it. Okay, now they're both set up to be repaired. You see our money is climbing pretty well and we want to get uh, 43,000 to buy that farm so let's just let her run till we have 43,000 now the three employees when I fired one we went back to zero so they want us to have three employees at a time we'll deal with that here in a minute Okay, after we get the, after this train uh, does its thing, we should be able to buy our farm. We can, but we're not going to. Why aren't we? Because it has no market yet. There's no point in buying it until we can do this, the, the full chain. We need a track up to Knoxville, and, no, I'm sorry, Nashville and uh, a train. So the train's 23, the track, let's guesstimate it at 30, that's 53. So we need 53,000 plus this, 56. We need $96,000 in order to really do this right. Because what you don't want to do is buy it in pieces because you're, you're now taking on the upkeep of pieces that are not making you any money. So we're gonna run this up to about 90, yeah, let's say 90,000. We can start at 90,000. So you just have to be patient. You have to hurry up and wait. There we go. All right, so first thing we wanna do is see if we can get any employees to help us lay track and we can so let's pause it for a second 
we can get uh, construction of the station. Soil Works is great. 18% off Soil Works will take him. Soil Works 12% off. That's even better. And we need to hire three anyway, so why don't we go in? We've got some money. Why don't we go into our headquarters? Upgrade our HR department and hire this dude right here who's going to give us um, a discount on the rail itself. And then we could even get 30% off the station would be about two grand. But he's going to cost us 2600 relocation costs, and I don't think we're going to keep him that long. So we'll just stick with those three. And what they got? They need to fix that. All right. So now we're going to run out of Chattanooga. Build some segments to it. Look, it only costs us thirteen thousand to build that track. Got forty percent off our soil and thirty-five percent off our rails. Beautiful, beautiful. But while we've got, oh, do we want to do that? I was going to start to say, while we've got those guys, let's build some more track. But we'll hang on to them for a bit. So now we want to buy our farm for forty-three. And let's just wait till we have just a couple more dollars. We'll let one of these trains come in and make us a little more money, and then we'll start a train. Actually, we'll repurpose a train. T1 is going to change its uh, route. We'll watch T1. As soon as he unloads, we're gonna pause the game. All right, let's pause. What we want him to do now is forget about Cookville. We want him to load meat and take it to Nashville. Yes, that's what we want it to do. All right, so he can start making us, and do we still have repairs on him? Yes, we do, okay, good. So he's all set. We can now we can start making money because the, the meat will sell for seven thousand a, a, a carriage, and uh, it's costing us zero. It's costing us just the, the you know upkeep. All right, so we're going to start making some, we'll start making some good money there, and uh, we already have enough money. My goodness. All right, now we're going to replace that train. that was bringing our goods down here, our wheat down to the farm. Okay, there we go. So that's the way I would recommend you put, um, and what's happened here? What happened to T1? He's trying to load. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, stop, stop, stop. I want to make sure this is loading into the farm. Yes, it is. I, I think I goofed up there. Really goofed up. Should have had T1 take that last load, those five, and load it into the farm. But now we're good. So I lost a little time right there. Shame on me. I don't know if you followed that. T1 was coming down and actually sold its wheat to the city, but it had it sold it to the farm, then it wouldn't be sitting here waiting on meat to be produced. But that's okay. We'll let it wait because it's worthwhile. When it finally goes up there with four, we're going to make $28,000 minimum, and we're going to be a lot happier. All right, so now we've got a little meat industry going, at least once. A and look at this. Knoxville can also take meat, so... Hold on, hold the horses here. All right, so now we're gonna need some double tracking. We've still got our our uh, lovely uh, discount guys for our rails. So let's, mm, okay. 
Let's expand this sit, this station to level three to get us another track. And in fact, let's do the same thing here. Let's expand this one to level three. And our track is, of course, on the wrong side. That's okay. I'm going to kind of tie that off right there. Stop. And I'm building those little uh, things there just so I can cut this off and be able to delete the ends of this track. Okay. And now I want to tie them back in so that this one is going into the left-hand track and this one's going into the right-hand track. And then we can delete. We can delete that and that. All right. And... Let's double track this back like this. Let's go click. <laughs> double track back. I'm on the right side. Yeah, I am. double track to Knoxville as well. Let's make a little more money. There we go. And let's double track back to Knoxville. And there's still some track to make all this really work. We need Knoxville and Nashville eventually, but we're not quite, we're actually not quite there yet. So what I want to do is have a train that goes here and brings stuff to the farm, loads up uh, meat, takes it back to uh, Knoxville and let's put let's put the service in Knoxville and go Now we should, oh, and good, good news. And Chattanooga's taking meat too, so we'll automatically sell it to, to uh, Chattanooga. You'll see the 7,000 green pop up here every once in a while as Chattanooga buys, buys a uh, meat from our farm. And so that means we're, we're now selling meat to three cities. So we've got a nice little base income going here. So we just wanna make sure that it stays Stay supplied with wheat, which we're doing a pretty good job of right now. All right, so there we go. Now there, there's kind of a basic um, little income going. Now, now obviously we need to get on. Let's look at our time. 800 days. All right, we need to get on, get on with it, and get our clothing industry. Now, what do we need for clothing? We need 
a cotton field, which is going to cost us 41000 We need a textile factory, which is going to cost us 46, four sets, 87,000. And we need a clothing factory, which is going to cost us 70, 100, let's call it 160 plus track. Now the track we're going to need is going up through here, double track this, and then we're going to need track going across, or we could do it maybe down here, make it a little cheaper. Uh, running from Nashville to uh, Knoxville and we've already got our um, leather our farm is producing the leather so all we need is the cotton and the textiles and we can start making clothing and what we'll do is set up our original clothing to actually go from Knoxville to Nashville because they need it and they'll pay us for it and then we can take the funds from that to complete our line to go on down to uh, Atlanta. So I think what I'd like to do while we've got the track dudes, I hate picking up the expense of the stations, but at the same time, let's let's take advantage of these guys. Let's build down here to uh, what's going to end up being our cotton field, our cotton farm. And let's build our track back. like so and let's get our double track built here I only got 10 grand let's uh, let this thing keep running while I build track See, we're starting to make some money now. All right. So, pause. So, hmm. Sorry, I forgot what I said. Forty, hundred, hundred seventy. Let's, let's finish off that track we're going to need to make this work. So we'll have a connection from here. To here. And we'll double track this little portion of it. A little crossover on each end so that either track can get to that uh, to this section in the middle. All right, so that connects uh, Nashville to um, Knoxville, and now all we need to do is buy those three factories. <laughs> Seventy, eighty, hundred. 160,000. We don't need much, so go, 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 guys. Have this meat industry make us some money. This is significantly slower when you don't have uh, passengers and, and mail. <laughs> Imagine we had passengers and mail running, or passengers running back and forth between Knoxville and Nashville, and Nashville and Chattanooga. We would be going ka-ching, ka-ching quite a bit more than we are. But the good news is we're keeping our expenses down because we're only running four trains to support this whole network. Uh, let's start buying it. 
Okay, we're gonna buy the cotton field. We're gonna buy the textile factory. And we're going to buy, whoops, almost. Let's see who, shucks. We picked up expense when we did that. Okay, we're buying the clothes factory. Now we've got the full full chain. So what do we need? We need a train. We need more money. So we need a train for the um, leather. We need a train for the textiles. We can go back and forth and take clothing. And we need a train for, the first train we need is for the uh, wheat down here, or the um, cotton. So grab cotton. Load it there. There's nothing we can bring back. And go. And we're going to put um, repair station here. Next train we need would be uh, let's uh, let's do this one. We'll take out we'll take out the uh, leather and we'll take it to our clothes factory. And then we need a train to grab textiles. Drop them off, pick up clothing, and sell those for large amounts of money. Okay, now we're in the clothing business. And uh, as soon as we get enough funds, we'll finish off our line going up to Atlanta. And because we're making good money from this, or we will be as soon as that clothing starts hitting uh, Nashville then uh, we won't have any trouble building out that line, finishing off a line going up to Atlanta. In fact, we could even just come right out of here if we want to. In fact, that's probably what we'll do. And we've still got our employees, don't we, giving us discounts? Yeah, we do. We're still paying these guys money. So let's, let's build our line while we're um, waiting. Let's double up this guy. And build our line coming out like so. like so and uh, since we have enough money we'll start a, a route going up there and in fact before we do that we're going to double up some of these trains. We're going to... Which one's our cotton? Our cotton, we're going to copy that train. This one, when T7 hits uh, Atlanta, or uh, Nashville, which according to that it already has, but we know that that's a defect. It, here it is, it's right here on its way. When it hits uh, Nashville, we'll have all the money we need for anything. I'm going to copy it, but then I'm going to say, don't pick up the, clo the clothing we can't send everything to Nashville and the other one we wanted to copy is the uh, leather train okay now we can start our train going one two three four 
all the way to our contract. Go. How are we looking on time? We've got 450 days, roughly. We cannot, oh, I meant to mention, we can't get this one because we're not running any passengers, so too bad. But this optional right here would give us 200 experience points, which would be nice, but we can't do it. We're kind of hamstringing ourselves ever so slightly. Okay, we're producing clothing. Those extra trains are speeding things up for us. You can't put an X on that one. That should be fixed, I think. We're starting to make some money. Did we ever do the research? No, we didn't. Uh, let's upgrade again. We'll put in a modest research department and we'll go out here to the DeWitt Clinton and put everybody on that. We only want two things, that and that, to get us to the next train. We're skipping the DeWitt altogether. Now, do we have a train taking to Atlanta? I want another one. waiting to unload into the farm. The farm is full up and that's okay. So now he finally gets his unload and he'll just run out of there whenever he needs to go back and get some more. So that, that works. That's cool. All right, let's see how we're doing on our clothes. All right, we are making clothes. We've got 17, we've got plenty of leather. T6 is bringing, well, more leather, <laughs> not what we need. We really don't need to, uh, oh, okay, here, good. Here's a, here's a bonus for us. We can deliver textiles to um, Birmingham, to a, to a furniture factory down there, and uh, fulfill a contract and get some more um, experience points. I'm going to accept it, and let's just see. Oh, we got plenty of um, textiles. So one thing that's happening to us, we're not getting the textiles over to uh, Knoxville fast enough. And this train here, where is this train? I have no idea where this train is because that functionality doesn't work. Um, let's see, T9, T9. It says it's up here. Oh, there it goes, it just left. Um, it's been waiting, I guess. See, this is, it's in the station and there it goes, uh, to make a delivery as well. Uh, so let's do this, let's set up. No, no, let's not do this. We still have our guys. Yeah, we still have our track guys. So let's build some more track. We could run it off of it. Let's just run it off of this. No, no, let's run it off of this. This. Okay. We're gonna run a line that bypasses Chattanooga. Maybe we are. There we go and runs all the way down man man easy to Birmingham like so 
and we can double track that why not we got our track discount fellas hard at work finished so fast we didn't get that extra one. Oh well. Our goal was to get that um, little bit of research done which man I don't even know if we did. We finished too fast. Oh well I guess uh, it could be worse. So we got um, we got our work faster bonus. We set up a solid economy. We could switch that over now and quit delivering clothes to um, Atlanta deliver them to Nashville and all the way after we finished it up to Birmingham and have a really solid business, but that's no matter. The mission's over. So um, there I think the lesson learned is build your, kind of hurry up and wait. Build a plan, figure out what it is you want to do, what industry you want to do, how are you going to connect the, all the pieces of that supply chain up together and then use your the economic engine you built so far to save up the money to allow you to build the entire supply chain at once and own the entire supply chain and then give it the trains it needs and 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 have watch it run and so that's kind of what the, the approach we took here and it seemed to work very very well i hope you enjoyed this i hope it'll help you become a better player and i hope you'll join us for our next railroad corporation video. Thank you.